What are you? Your name, your quality, and why you answer this present summons. No, my name is lost by treason's tooth. Bear non and canker bit. Yet I am as noble as the adversary I come to cope. Which is that adversary? What's he that speaks for Edmund, Earl of Gloucester himself? What sayest thou to him? Draw thy sword. That if my speech offend a noble heart, thy arm may do thee justice. Here is mine. Behold, it is my privilege, the privilege of mine honors, my oath, and my profession. I protest. Maugre thy strength, place, youth, and eminence. Despite thy victor sword and fire new fortune, thy valor and thy heart, thou art a traitor. False to thy gods, thy brother, and thy father. Conspiratant against this high, illustrious prince, and from the extremest upward of thy head to the descent and dust below thy foot, a most toad-spotted traitor. Say thou no, this sword, this arm, and my best spirits are bent to prove upon thy heart whereto I speak. Thou liest. In wisdom, I should ask thy name. But since thy outside looks so fair and warlike, and that thy tongue, some say, of green breeds, but safe and nicely, I might well delay by rule of knighthood, I disdain and spurn. Back do I toss these treasons to thy head, with the hell-hated lie o'erwhelm my heart, which for they but glance by and scarcely bruise. This sword of mine shall give them instant way where they shall rest forever. Trumpet, speak! <laughs> Say, if I do, the laws are mine, not 